25 light years away from Earth, in the constellation Lyra, there's a young star, Vega. The brightest and one of the most famous, this star is twice the mass of our Sun. Vega is so brilliant, you can see it even at twilight when all the other stars disappear from the sky. Despite all the star's fame, astronomers have never seen a single planet orbiting Vega, until recently. Researchers have been observing the star for a decade or so when they spotted a curious signal. It might be Vega's first world we'll know about. If it did exist, it'd be a marvelous place. The planet would likely orbit so close to its host star that one day on it would last around two and a half Earth days. The world would be the size of Neptune, and this ice giant is four times wider than Earth. Or it might even be as large as Jupiter. But the most impressive thing about this potential planet would be its temperature. The place could turn out to be the second hottest world known to scientists. On its surface, it'd be as hot as 5400 degrees Fahrenheit. For comparison, the temperature on the surface of the hottest planet in the solar system, Venus, doesn't rise above 900 degrees Fahrenheit. The only place hotter than Vega's potential companion would be Kelt 9b. The temperatures on this exoplanet don't drop below 7800 degrees Fahrenheit. Anyway, the candidate world would be closer to Vega than Mercury in our solar system is to the Sun. It could result in the giant planet puffing up like a balloon. And then, even metals would melt in its scorching hot atmosphere. Unfortunately, the existence of the sizzling planet has yet to be confirmed. Astronomers think that the easiest way to prove it is by trying to spot the light emitted by the unusual planet. And since we're talking about planets, are there any worlds out there that resemble Earth? Astronomers have discovered and confirmed more than 4,000 exoplanets. But it's no secret that thousands of other candidates are still waiting for their turn to be detected. Of course, not all of these planets are like our Earth, but some are. For example, Gliese 667 CC. This world is only 22 light years away from Earth. Scientists aren't sure if the planet is rocky, but they know the place is more than four times as massive as our planet. The star of Gliese 667 CC is a red dwarf. That's why it's much cooler than our Sun. So, the exoplanet is likely to be in its star's habitable zone. But this idea hasn't been confirmed yet. The Earth-like planet might be moving too close to the star. Then it can be regularly baked by its flames. Kepler-22b is much farther away than the previous world. If you wanted to reach that planet, you'd have to travel 600 light years. This world, which is more than twice as large as the Earth, lies in the habitable zone of its host star but it's unclear whether it's liquid, gaseous, or rocky. Kepler-69c is almost 70% bigger than our planet. It's also very, very far away, 2,700 light years. It'd take you 54 million years to travel the distance that great in a modern spacecraft. Researchers aren't sure what Kepler-69c consists of, but they think it's likely to lie in the habitable zone. The planet's position in its solar system is like that of Venus and ours. But since the host star is only 80% as bright as the Sun, the planet shouldn't be affected by its heat that greatly. Kepler-452b is the most Earth-like planet astronomers have discovered so far. It resides 1,400 light-years away from our planet. Its host star is very similar to our Sun. And the planet, lying in its habitable zone, is 1.5 times the size of Earth. Scientists also think that Kepler-425b is likely to be a rocky world. Are any of these or other planets besides Earth suitable for life? There are 24 potentially superhabitable planets, and one of them met not one, but two criteria astronomers have for such worlds. KOI 5715.01 is five and a half billion years old and around twice the size of Earth. It orbits an orange dwarf a bit less than 3,000 light years away from our planet. Its surface temperature might be four degrees Fahrenheit cooler than that of Earth. But since the planet's atmosphere might have more heat-trapping gases, the place is likely to be superhabitable. Another potential superhabitable planet is KOI 5554.01. This world is a bit older than our planet, 6.5 billion years against our 4.5 billion. The exoplanet's size is likely to be the same as Earth's. The planet orbits its host star, a yellow dwarf, and the average temperature on its surface is 80 degrees Fahrenheit. What planets are visible from Earth? Mercury is the nearest to the Sun in our solar system. 
But since this planet is so close to the star, you can only see it just after sunrise, in the early morning, and at dusk. From up close, the place looks a bit like the good old moon. The planet doesn't have an atmosphere, and the temperatures on its surface are extreme. 800 degrees Fahrenheit during the day, and minus 290 degrees Fahrenheit at night. Venus is the second brightest celestial object out there after the moon. It's one of our planet's closest neighbors. Also, it's the most similar to Earth in terms of gravity, size, mass, and average density. Unfortunately, you won't be able to see Venus's surface from Earth. A thick layer of clouds is securely hiding the planet. Jupiter can be either the third or fourth brightest object in the sky. It depends on Mars, which occasionally shines brighter than the gas giant. You can see Jupiter especially well in the summer. The gas giant's most famous feature is the Great Red Spot. That's an enormous storm that has been raging on the planet's surface for centuries. Even though the largest planet in the solar system looks like a solid sphere, you wouldn't be able to land on its surface. Jupiter is mainly made up of gases, mostly helium and hydrogen. Saturn is the second largest planet in the solar system. It's the last one of the five planets you can see from Earth with the unaided eye. Saturn is incredibly far from Earth, but its unique rings help you instantly recognize this colossal planet. It's a pity that Saturn's trademark feature is only visible in a telescope. By the way, more than 700 Earths would fit into Saturn. At the same time, the gas giant's density is a mere one-eighth of Earths. This is why Saturn's mass is just 95 times greater than that of our planet. What planets in the solar system are closer to each other than the rest? Astronomers believe that Mercury is the closest to any other planet in the solar system. And that's quite shocking because how about Venus? It orbits the Sun between Mercury and Earth. Isn't it supposed to be closer to our planet? Venus is indeed rather close to Earth, but only for a very short period in its orbit. The rest of the time, Venus is much farther away. But Mercury's orbit doesn't let the planet move too far away from the Sun, and it's closer to Earth more than 50% of the time. The same principle works with other planets too. Even gas giant Neptune is farther from Uranus than from Mercury. Most of the time, the two larger planets are on the opposite sides of the solar system. Their orbits sometimes do bring them very close to each other, but it happens very rarely. And how about planets outside the solar system? Astronomers have recently discovered two worlds traveling around the same star. Their orbits are often so close to each other that each planet looks like a huge full moon from the surface of the other. It occurs every 97 Earth days. These planets are about 1,200 light years away from Earth. Their composition and size are different, but the distance between them is a mere 1.2 million miles. That's five times the distance between Earth and the Moon, and it's closer than any other planets astronomers know about. One of the newly found worlds is more than four times as massive as our Earth. It's likely to be rocky. The other is a gaseous planet the size of Neptune, and almost eight times as massive as our planet. Scientists haven't figured out yet how such dramatically different space bodies ended up in such similar orbits.